Hello there. Welcome back to the nerdery. The Hoth Wampa is here and it's the stuff that dreams are made of. This episode will ask and answer the question, how do you get a one-armed Wampa out of a tree? <laughs> Check out this glorious package, man. You know you've done something right when you've got a 43-year-old dude just smiling and giggling. Check out the holographic reflectiveness. On the bottom here, you could see the white coming through because the light is refracting off the white bottom and background. So as I move it forward, the picture becomes clear. Dude, that is so cool. You can see the Wapa dragging Luke and the Tauntaun on the side. Side of the box also has the holographic effect. You can see Luke fighting the Wampa on it, doing my best to get the camera angles. The camera and the hologram do not want to cooperate. On this side, you can see the Wampa holding up Luke and Luke riding the Wampa and the Wampa taking a swat at it. Dude, do you guys remember this playset from when we were kids? Oh my God. I remember Luke hanging up and then the Wampa could come over. I love the hell out of that thing, man. And then the inside of the hologram has another picture of our Wampa friend. Right, so I'm gonna open the box on the side there. And then this pulls out. Oh, you got another box. Oh, and that pulls right up. So, ooh, that piece of cardboard is removed, and then we just got some ties in here I need to cut. Holy shit, this Wampa's awesome, man. It's a hefty, heavy figure got different colored fur, so much detail. So I immediately have to scale him with a Luke Skywalker, but this is snow speeder Luke, so I thought he was a good substitute, and check out how he scales next to the Wampa, man. Holy cow, that Wampa is almost twice his size. That is epic. Let's see if he can hold him up. Dude, check this out. He could totally hold Luke above his head. Check this out, I'm taking pictures, and Luke's foot fits right in the Wampa's arm, so you could have him dragging him back to his cave. Dude, that is awesome. Man, this thing is so cool. Check out the dead, lifeless eyes, his nose. There's so much detail on the fur. It's going in all different directions. And I love the realism of the different colors on the Wampa. It's like a yellowish brown that they wash through. The horns have very nice detail going through them. And then the back of the head sculpt is just more fur. So as we move down the body of the Wampa, it's just fur. It's just fuzz everywhere. But the sculpt is great, man. It just looks so realistic because fur goes in so many different directions. It's like matted, dirty. I'm sure he smells like complete shit in real life. And man, dude, this is just awesome. So Wampa's head has a little bit of movement side to side and nothing really up or down, but it's kind of expected with how they put the sculpt on there. He does have two different shoulder joints. So this shoulder is 360 degrees, comes out this far, and then has about a 90 degree angle. He does have soft rubber fur coming off here, which does hide the joint. And then this is pinless, which looks really cool and has 360 degree rotation. And I love this, man. He's got his like little toe beans is what we call them on our cat. You have the underside here, which is his black skin. And then it rotates 360 degrees showing his fur. And it does have a little inflection back and forth. If you, I found if I rotate it this way away from the fur that's sticking out, you can inflect it up a little. And I really like that because it kind of looks like he's grabbing for you. So this shoulder is different. It has a 360 degree rotation, but does not come out. Also have the same pinless elbow joint and rotation at the hand. So the reason why this shoulder doesn't come out is because if you, man, this is in there really good. So check that out. That's right where Luke sliced it off. And then you have his arm here. And I love it. It just looks like a section of meat there that was sliced. That is really, really cool. So you can display your Wampa with uh, one arm or two arms. It just depends on the effect you're going for. And his chest, he has uh, three sections here. You have an upper section that actually moves and rotates independently. And you can see how that moves side to side. That's really cool. It gives it that movement. It does, doesn't have much give up or down. And then you have this other section here where this section also rotates. And that's more of a 360 swivel. When you get down to the legs again, it's all white and then yellowish brown fur. You do have a thigh cut. And when you get to the knee, it doesn't bend more than this on mine and I don't want to force it. Maybe it goes a little further. But again, with a Wampa, we're, we're not uh, going for gymnastics here. We're just going for menacing pose. He's got three big nails coming off his feet. Again, more fur detail and the bottom is plain white. And then these have just minimal inflection back and forth. So that's just for balance and stance. Here's a little fun scale playtime. I wanted to take two of my larger Black Series figures and see how they stack up next to the Wampa. There's Zeb and Chewbacca with C-3PO on his backpack. Dude, and the Wampa is significantly larger than both of them. So Zeb, I believe, is 6'10", and Chewie's supposed to be around seven feet. So that Wampa is probably eight feet tall just based on scale, man. And he looks awesome. Dude, he is going right into my Empire Strikes Back this way. How do you get a one-armed Wampa out of a tree? 
you don't. If that wampa hasn't seen you, you make like a tree and get out of there, dude. I hope you could appreciate how much I enjoyed this figure with all my giggling, swearing, and just in general giddiness towards the wampa. I really did love this playset as a child, and it's so cool seeing the wampa in my display right now with all my other Empire Strikes Back figures while I'm making this video. It just fills me with joy, and I hope you got to take some of that joy home with you. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the noble quest of building this action figure collection. See you real soon.